This video is in response to a video by a guy named uh, Tulian Insights or Varg or whatever the hell he calls himself. And it was on, I think it was uh, Bodybuilding and Survivalism, where he states that bodybuilding is bad for you and that if you're lifting a lot of weights, oh, you can't have a family if you're lifting weights to that extent. He also states a lot of other goofy things like you require all this food to maintain muscle mass. This is all bro science. This is the science that's not science that's talked about in the gyms by the meatheads. Okay. A couple of things I want to point out is uh, weight. Okay. One of my favorite things he points out is that this low percentage of body fat is people that want to look like Africans. They don't want to look like a European. What about the ancient Greeks and the ancient Romans? If you look at these massive men, these statues, people modeled for these statues. These statues weren't made out of figments of people's imaginations. The ancient Greeks and Romans, many of the Romans were actually Germanic gladiators, were very, very ripped people. Another thing is that the food consumed by these people, and I will get into disproving his ridiculous concept that modern agriculture is going to kill the planet or that veganism is bad for the planet because it's not it's the exact opposite but i'll get into that on another video but these these gladiators primarily subsisted on beans and barley and that's how they got ripped it wasn't through a lot of meat or anything like that you know so <laughs> uh what what i want to go further is this idea now i'm not lucky enough to have a family I resent never having a family, okay? But let me point this out. I taught karate for a while, and I took karate for an even longer while, okay? So karate is a physical culture, and weightlifting is encouraged by anybody that's good at karate encourages weightlifting, lots of weightlifting. And what I noticed is a lot of families that engage in martial arts practices or other athletic or physical culture endeavors, the families do better when they do this. It's, it's much more um, unifying than other means of family activity. Um, this the physical culture is a great thing. It promotes health. And this concept that somehow that bodybuilding robs you or robs your children of things, your children should be weightlifting as well as the adults. It's not in, in Russia and in these Eastern European countries. Many of these countries, the children are weightlifting at early ages. They're getting stronger. In Western Europe, we're getting weaker. I'm not from Western Europe. Thank God I'm not from Western Europe. I'm from the blessedly less degenerate United States. But in Western Europe and the United States, we're getting weaker and more degenerate, while in Eastern Europe, where they lift weights from an early age, they're getting stronger and healthier uh, and uh, more nationalistic. So it's kind of uh, ridiculous. A lot of, a lot of this dude's insights are just insane. Plus, as a dude that grew up, I had to grow up fighting with black people, okay? Black people, believe it or not, can fight sometimes, and they're pretty strong sometimes. And if you're not training yourself like the black people do, remember, black people lift weights. What do you think they do in those youth programs paid for by the state? Okay, black people lift weights in prison. Uh, black people do preoccupy themselves with athletic endeavors like basketball. It's not even necessarily that they have a natural inclination towards these things. They just do these things. And white people need to understand that you must embrace physical culture if you have a chance in hell of defending yourself against other people that embrace physical culture. Not only must you embrace physical culture, but you must embrace physical culture more seriously and more scientifically and more regimentedly than your competition. Now, what's funny is a lot of these people like to talk about other people as their competition, but they do not. They, there's this delusion in the white people that somehow we're so much naturally better than everybody else that, you know, we're just we're just superior naturally. We don't have to do anything. We can sit on our asses and degenerate. And that's what's brought us to the state that we're in.